Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. So Michael Galing, here we are, first day NAB 2024. How's it going? My feet already hurt, believe it or not. And it's been, what, has it been uh, five hours only? Yeah, it's gonna be a long show, but we're having a good time already. Oh good, that's great to hear. Now what are you showcasing here this year at NAB? We've got a lot of new things, but um, the most important of which are a brand new streaming protocol for our PRISM series of HEVC encoders and our brand new PRISM Mobile 5G video contribution encoder. Um, we've seen in the industry a really big movement and desire for ultra low latency workflows. They want to be able to get one video from point A to point B as quickly as possible. They want real time. And there are a number of good protocols out there. Uh, some companies are using WebRTC. There are a couple of proprietary protocols as well that provide pretty good latency. But from what we found is uh, with our own devices in our own ecosystem, we could build a protocol that could really deliver not only just real-time lifelike video transmission, but we could do it reliably as well, even over challenging networks. And so that's why we built TRT, which is Teradek Reliable Transport. It's a simple protocol with adaptive forward air correction, it's got uh, adaptive bit rates, uh, a, an adjustable jitter buffer, and it's a really, really great option if you're looking for that real-time uh, video transmission from a Teradek encoder to a Teradek decoder. Now, this protocol is also available on our new Prism Mobile 5G video contribution encoder. This is what I find to be my favorite product of uh, what we're introducing here at NAB. It's an HEVC 4K video contribution encoder, but what's so cool about it is that it's got two 5G modems built right in. So it's a tactical device. It allows camera operators to get a lightweight, low profile device right into the middle of the action. But with two bonded cellular networks, you can get your footage out streaming live, or you can use our camera to cloud integrations for bringing recorded files up to Frame.io, Avid, or any of the Sony platforms um, you know, as quickly as possible. Now, one of the great, great, great things about this product is that it's ready for private mobile networks. It's compatible with CBRS. So this is something that we're seeing is becoming more and more popular in the industry. Um, and right now, there are a couple of us, a couple of competitors that all have products that can utilize these uh, private mobile networks, but uh, our competitors are much bigger backpacks or much bigger form factors. With a device like this, you're barely going to know it on your shoulder when you cut your camera there, and we think that that's going to be a really value add. This device is only $6,500, which is an unbelievable price for what you're getting, and uh, we're excited to get it out the door in May. And tell me about where you're positioned, Teradek, in the industry as a whole. You know, we're a big company, so half our business is done in the cinema world. Uh, we've won an Academy Award and Emmy Awards for a variety of our different products there. And on this side, which is our broadcast and live production business, we have traditionally specialized in um, what we would consider uh, the content creator space, a lot of live streaming, so houses of worship, in real life streaming, uh, education, things like that. Over the years, we've brought our technology further up market, and we've been introducing it, refining it, making it more reliable and consistent for uh, top tier broadcasters, uh, sports broadcast, large enterprises, and government institutions. Um, these products are used at some of the largest events around the world by some of the biggest companies in the world. And um, we think that people would be really surprised at what we got here, so we hope that everyone comes and sees what we have today. And what are you seeing happening, Michael, in the industry in terms of trends? So as I mentioned with um, Prism Mobile 5G here, 5G networks, um, sliced 5G networks, uh, private mobile networks using 5G, this is really, I would say, one of the hot buttons right now, in addition to ultra low latency streaming and that real time lifelike interaction that you can get with um, workloads using WebRTC or protocols like TRT. I would say those are the two big trends that we're focused on. There are a number of others out there. I know uh, a lot of people are still talking about SMPTE 2110. Um, we're not in that space. It's definitely something that we're evaluating, but we're most excited for 5G. We think that we're only in the beginning of what's to come for that technology, and we love being at the forefront of it. So on that note, what do you think the future holds for Teradek? I think it's bright. I think that you need to come down to our booth and see and make up your mind for yourself. Um, we love to build products that are lightweight, low profile, and cost effective. I think that there are a lot of great products in our space, but they're very expensive and they do 
frankly, too many things. Um, there's a lot of bells and whistles that most or many companies just don't need. With Teradek, we can do 90% of what everybody else does at far more competitive prices, and I think that's a really special place to be, especially when you're introducing technologies like Prism Mobile 5G that can get you on private mobile networks at costs that simply aren't even close to what else is out there today. Um, we're, I know it's a little trite, but we're democratizing broadcast technology, but in many ways it's true, we really are. We're bringing top tier tech further down into more affordable areas. Very exciting times. Thank you so much, Michael. Have a great show. Thank you so much for coming by.